Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my September favorites and I am really, really excited that September is done. Not that I didn't love September, but October is my second favorite month out of the year because Halloween is in October and fall really starts to set in. So let's just jump into my favorites. Here we go. perfume that I never thought in a million years I would love so much because I'm usually pretty particular with my fragrances. I have certain fragrances that I like. I did at Charlotte Russe find Love Charlotte. It smells like it's like a little sweet and a little citrusy. It's beautiful. It's I'm not very good at describing fragrances. Let's just get that out of the way. And I there's no scent description on here. But if you're looking for some good and expensive fragrances, I did smell the other ones there and they all smell really good. The only downfall because it's a cheaper fragrance is that it doesn't like hang on for a very long time. But that's okay because I have a Trevello that I just pump this fragrance into and then I can bring it with me in my purse and I can just like spritz it on throughout the day and I smell delicious all over again. So I've been really enjoying this fragrance which is crazy because it's a $12 fragrance but when you love something, you love something. As far as fashion items go. I have a couple of things that I wanted to share that I kind of went a little obsessive over for the month of September. And just felt like that took all the breath out of me because I did a long-winded sentence. <sighs> okay. I have been loving these flats um, because fall is coming. I've been gravitating more towards fall-ish fashion items, even though it's been stifling here still quite a bit. Um, it feels like it's trying to be fall, so I have been wearing these a ton, like so much. These I picked up from um, Saks Off Fifth, and they are Lucky Brand flats, black flats, and they're really cute because they have like this stitching in the back. They're super, super soft, super comfortable. Like I swear these are the most comfortable flats, possibly the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn in my entire life. And they are uh, amazing. Now, little secret for you, listen up. I was on 6pm.com today and they have these very flats although they didn't have black, but they had a ton of other colors. In these flats on 6pm.com, they were on for a killer sale. So go check these out. I will look up these flats, what they are called, because I cannot remember, and I will put it somewhere in here. I will make like a little bubble that says what they are. And then you can go to 6pm.com and you can look them up and you can grab yourself a pair because these are amazing. They're great for the office and for shopping and for running around with the kiddos and for fall strolls. They're perfect for everything. I love them. Yes, I have to stop talking about them now because I have other things to talk about. I have been crazy obsessed with long necklaces. I got a couple of them from Charlotte Russe. They were two for $10, which is kind of sick. Like sick in a good way, like that's sick. Oh, I'm like totally a mom now. That did not sound cool at all. Just kind of like in their own sense, a statement necklace without being like a 10 pound statement necklace, if that makes sense. I have a few hair products to show you that I was loving for the month of September. The first one being this one, which has fallen apart, sadly. It just means that I used it that much that it like is no longer what it should be. But basically this is one of those um, hair bun things. This one's called a Mia. 
and I picked it up from Ulta. Basically, you just like put this over your ponytail and then like back comb your hair like crazy and then just kind of use the pins and tuck all your hair in to make a messy sort of bun. You can do lower buns with them. They just make doing buns or like creating a bun super, super simple. And I've been loving this and obviously so much that I need to go get another one now. I've also gone back to using a product where the canister broke on me and then I swore it off and I was like, this product is no good and I, oh, I cursed it. But I've gone back to using it and it's the Bedhead Rockaholic Dry Shampoo. I've been using this stuff like crazy, like crazy, 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 crazy because it is not just a dry shampoo. This gives you like that sort of tousled, volumized, sort of grungy, dirty looking hair that I was gonna say that you that everybody loves, but maybe not everybody loves it, but I love it. It makes it really easy to like hold a curl, just kind of dirties your hair up a little bit while adding volume and soaking up any oil. So it's just a multi-purpose product that works really good across the board, makes your hair smell so friggin' good. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so I've really been loving this for the month of September. The last hair care product that I have to show you is a sample. This stuff has changed my hair care forever. This is Lush's R&B Hair Moisturizer. Now don't be fooled, this is supposed to be like a leave-in hair treatment um, to help like lock moisture into the hair. You can use it as like a, like a styling product. It works amazing, it's so cool. It works really well for like piecing out your ends. Um, it adds a bit of shine. It's a really cool, unique product. I am definitely going to get like a big tub of this because I have fallen in love with it and you just need the tiniest little bit and it goes a long way. And this stuff, oh my gosh, it smells so good. This is probably one of the best smells I've ever smelt in my entire life. Like, oh my gosh. If there's a scent description that I can find, I will pop it in here somewhere for you guys so that you guys have sort of something to go off of as you see me like almost wanting to eat this product. For skincare, I have one favorite, and that is the Pond's Exfoliating Renewal Wet Cleansing Towelettes with Citrus and Cucumber. These are so cool, and because they have the um, like exfoliating beads on the actual cleansing towel, it's really cool. So when you're taking off your makeup, it's really refreshing because of the citrus and cucumber, but it's also like exfoliating your skin as and lifting any dead skin off your face because of the beads on the actual makeup cloth. Take makeup off like nobody's business. These, like Pond has this cornered for sure. I have two products that have just taken over for the month of September and they, they smell amazing. They smell amazing separately, but together, layered, they just are like a match made in heaven. They are so delicious. And I actually paired the two by mistake. I didn't like even think about pairing them together. I just had bought them at Bath and Body Works and thought that they smelt amazing separately. But then one day I put the cream on and then thought, oh, I wanna put some of this on, which is their body spray. And lo and behold, a brilliant fragrance was born. So these are the, um, this is the Triple Moisture Body Cream in Twilight Woods. This smells heavenly. And then this is the Mad About You Fine Fragrance Mist. This smells heavenly and together they're just like out of this world. It's just ridiculous. Um, yes, so they just smell really, really good. This one has, um, Twilight Wood says, a hypnotic blend of apricot nectar, mimosa petals, and Tuscan cypress, inspired by the enticing warmth of woods at twilight. Oh, it's just so good. 
it's just such a warm like sensual fall scent it's so 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 good this one doesn't have a scent description but I will look it up for you guys again and put it somewhere in this area here so you can read about this scent but if you guys are looking for a good um, fall scent, something new to try. I suggest Twilight Woods Triple Body Moisture Cream from Bath and Body Works and the Mad About You Fine Fragrance Mist from Body Works. Put these together. Oh, they smell amazing. <laughs> And last but not least, the makeup category. I only have a few things to show you guys as far as the makeup category goes. So I've kind of moved slightly away from using um, black liquid liner into brown liquid liner. This is the, um, I've talked about this before, this is the Earthen Rock Brown from L'Oreal. Add some definition to the eye so that your eye doesn't just get lost. Um, but it's not so harsh and so dramatic as black. I've also been loving this lip combination. This is the NYX, um, what is this? This is the NYX Retractable Liner in Nude Pink. Um, so this color is amazing. Um, but then I've been layering um, L'Oreal's number 800 Ferris Nude Lipstick over top. And together they just create this really beautiful fall color. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now and I've been wearing it all month long. Like this is pretty much the only thing I've been wearing on my lips for the month of September, unless I'm wearing a lip gloss. This has just been a really cool sort of transition from summer into fall color. Last but not least, this makeup brush has changed the way I have been applying my concealer. And this is supposed to be the setting brush, which it does a wonderful job setting the under eye powder, but it also does a really good job of feathering the concealer and buffing the concealer into the under eye area. It just does such a flawless, almost like airbrushed look. Um, to the concealer. It just blends it in beautifully. This is the Real Techniques setting brush. That's going to be it for my September favorites. I hope you guys had an amazing September and I hope you guys are as excited to walk into October as I am. By the time you guys watch this video, it will be October 1st. So um, happy October 1st. Leave me comments down below letting me know what your favorite beauty products were for the month of September. I always love finding out what people have been using. And give this video a thumbs up if you are as excited to go into October as I am. I have a lot of fun stuff lined up for Halloween themed type videos for this channel. So be sure to check back. Thanks for stopping in guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.